Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I blow dry my hair right at home to get this natural wavy look with a ton of volume. For this hairstyle, I will be using the Tresemme Beautiful Volume Pre-Wash Shampoo and Conditioner. And this range is specially formulated for the conditioner to be used before the shampoo to soften my hair and to leave it looking really smooth and polished. And then I use the shampoo second to cleanse my hair and remove any excess weight to leave my hair really, really naturally bouncy and with a ton of volume. To protect my hair from the heat of the blow dryer, I'm going to spray my hair down with the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protection Spray. I like to start at the very front of my head, so I'm grabbing a 2 inch section of hair and I'm placing my round brush as close to the roots as possible. And then I'm going to move it up and away from my face as I direct the nozzle of my blow dryer towards the ends of my hair. I work from my roots to the tips, moving 2-3 to three inches each time. And once this section is fully dried, I like to roll it up and set it in place with a large velcro roller. And then I'm repeating the step with a smaller velcro roller right behind the first one. After my head, I'm working from bottom to top, front to back, and I'm using the round brush to direct the hair out and away from my face. Once I reach the ends of my hair, I'm going to rotate the round brush as I direct the airflow downwards to create sort of like a spiral curl. Once I'm done with blow drying my hair, I'm going to create 5 more pinwheel rolls. To do this, I'm grabbing a 1 inch section of hair, wrapping it around 2 of my fingers and rolling it all the way up and pinning it down in place right at the roots with a couple of bobby pins. I'm creating 2 of these on each side of my face and 1 at the very back of my head. Allowing my hair to cool and set for at least 20 minutes and then I can take down all of the rolls. And then I'm just lightly brushing through the curls with my fingers and making it look a little bit more worn and less done up. Here again is the final look for my DIY at home blowout. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. Make sure you subscribe to the All Things Hair channel to keep up to date on all of our content. Thanks for watching. Bye guys!